Hey, Trevor Matthews here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm gonna start something new here called Two Minutes with Trevor to teach you a few tips and tricks, really to help you, really to bring value to your company and your customers. And this is an image here sent to me by a friend of mine named Steve Wagner. Now, Steve is an expert at inspecting compressors. And he works at our semi-hermetic plant in Rushville, Indiana. And Steve sent me this and he said, Trevor, this is a great one to show everyone because I see this all the time. This compressor was installed less than 30 days. And he said on the tag, it said no valves. Well, I don't know what no valves mean, but I'm assuming the technician put gauges on the system and seen the compressor was running, but not pumping. So when Steve pulled it apart, he said nobody inspected it. The heads weren't pulled off. And when he did pull it apart, he said the compressor was mechanically sound. It was perfect. He said the electric was perfect. He said even the valve plate was totally fine. And usually in these situations when you get this, what causes this is a slug. So it took liquid refrigerant and blew the head gasket, blew the valve plate gasket. So it blew the gaskets, but didn't damage the compressor because usually your pistons could be damaged, your cylinders could be damaged. And now the, the, the technician pulled out or contractor pulled that compressor out of service and installed a new compressor which costs a lot of money, thousands and thousands of dollars. If there was a crane involved, even more money. And if they would have taken the time to pull the heads off, pull the compressor apart like we want you to, because uh, that won't void warranty, that they could have saved their customer downtime and saved their customer a pile of money as well as their, the contractor themselves. So always take the time to inspect them. This was caused by a slug. I'd love to hear what causes slugs, what causes a compressor to slug. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.